Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. We've got one for you today, a question that always comes up. We're going to show you how to play a YouTube video, have it auto play, have it muted in sound, and we'll also make it loop and hide the controls. Really easy to do and this question comes up all the time. It's a great little feature to have on your site. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the visual builder here. And once enabled, I'm going to go down and we'll delete this little module here. I've got a section here, the blue tab. Inside the section, I've got a row with two columns, the green tab. I'm going to add a code module to this left-hand column here. And there it is right there. Great, so once we've added our code module, we need to get some code to put in there. So I'm going to head over to YouTube. I've got it open over here. Go to whatever video it is you want to embed. Right below the video, you're going to find a little share button. If you click on the share button, it'll pop up. And there's an embed right there, a little button that says embed with the two arrows. Click on it. And you can copy. And we can go and paste it into our DV site. So I'll pop this code in there. And right away, we've got a video that's popped up. If we look at our code over here, here's the actual URL of the video. And we've got two little inverted commas. Everything we want to do today, we want to make sure we put inside the little inverted commas on the end there. That's the end of the video right there. So to make it autoplay, I'm going to put a question mark. Then I'm going to write autoplay equals one. And as you can see, and here, that started playing the video. Well, I don't want to hear any sound, so I'm going to mute it. To do that, I'm going to add the ampersand. Let's just pause this. So we want to mute it. I'm going to go where we, we left off here, which is the auto play one up there. i going to put my little cursor in there. I'm going to put the ampersand sign in, or the and, mute equals one and as you can see it started playing it now and it's muted the sound it's a personal thing but I find if I go to a website and they've got an autoplay video and it's playing sound it kind of annoys me a little bit so I don't like to have my sound play okay if you've got a short video this is a fairly long one you can choose to loop it and if you want to loop it Again, every time we add a new command, we want to put the ampersand in there, or the and sign, so I'm going to say and loop equals one. Now when it gets to the end, it'll actually roll back around and start the autoplay process again. Now another feature that I quite like, especially if you want to get your point across, is having the controls hidden so that they can't actually pause it, you, you, they're going to watch it. So to do that, if you want to do that, we can add, after where we left off there, after our loop, another ampersand, and controls equal zero, which is none. You've got two commands I could be wrong about this but uh, I think it's called boolean you've only got a one and a zero and one is to activate something and zeros always to deactivate something and if I roll over it now we've got no actual controls there so there's an easy way of looping muting and auto playing your video and there's plenty more controls actually I'll just drag this site over here which is the YouTube site that I get these from usually if I open this up, I'll put this URL down below for anybody that wants it. There's several parameters. There's autoplay, language preference, load policy, color. You can change the color of the progress bar and stuff, match it to your logo. Controls, we did that one. You can actually disable keyboard commands with disable KB right there. There's iframe prayer controls. You can set the endpoint where it stops. You can remove the full screen button with FS. 
you can set the player's actual interface language with H1 and you'll need some two letter language codes for that and there's a little link there to, if you need to learn more. You can set annotations and you can actually identify things that you want to play within the player with the list command. So go through, there's the loop that we used before. Modest branding, funnily enough I've never been able to get this to work and I might be thinking about it wrong but if you put modest branding in there it's supposed to actually hide the YouTube logo and things like that but if we put it in there let's just put it in there for fun and we've got to put it to one to prevent branding so we'll try it I'm going to copy it let's go back in here and again we'll add, uh, add an ampersand it's not easy to say add an ampersand then I'm going to paste in that little bit of code I copied and I can say equals one. But for me, I don't think that's worked. I'm still seeing the YouTube logo down there and things like that. So I'm not sure if that's working or not. But there we are. There's another option for you. Like I say, there's plenty of options there and it's really easy to do. Let's just make sure that this is going to actually work on the front end. So I'm going to save my changes here. We'll go down to the little purple button at the bottom. We'll save the changes down here and exit the visual builder. And there we have it. As you can see, I've got my video auto playing. If I roll over it, there's no controls. Still got the YouTube logo, but we're not hearing any sound, so it's muted. And when it does get to the end, let's see if we can coax it. Oh, I can't coax it to the end because I've got no controls. <laughs> But when it gets to the end, it's going to loop. And I have tried that loop feature. It does work fine. This is a bit long, this video, to do that. So there you go, guys. There's several options for modifying your YouTube code and making it work the way you want it. Having a muted autoplay video is a great thing to have on your website. If people are looking down and there's video going on like that without disturbing them, it's going to get their eyeballs on it pretty quickly. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. And don't forget if you have any questions, pop them below the video. I'll do my best to answer them or make a video for you. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.